Welcome back to the Roadshow. This morning in the buzz, it is a short week for many of us as we are just a few days away from Thanksgiving. That also means that people are realizing how little time is left before the holiday. From getting a turkey to baking pies and welcoming company into your home, there are endless errands to get done, which can cause people a lot of stress this week. We even learned that there is an actual term for the fear of your in-laws called sociophobia. Sociophobia. Something like that. Let's call it sucker phobia. Yeah. I don't even know. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's a fear of having your in-laws in -laws around mm -hmm. and uh, worrying about them. I don't have that fear. I get along quite well with my in-laws. Do your in-laws watch this show? They Are do. Are you just saying that? No, I, I'm, I, they, <laughs> they do watch, and yes, I mean it. That's good. I mean it, but it, as far as stress this uh, Thanksgiving, I don't have any, much stress either. I'm I, About the only stress I have is where are we going to go to eat? Yeah. And as I'm told to carry something out of the house, I carry it out of the house, I put it in the car. That's about as stressful as it is, and I don't want to drop it. Look at Other you. That I'm fine. Yeah, no that's stress. Minimal, minimal, minimal yeah. stress. Yes, minimal yeah. stress. Do you find like around the holidays, just getting together, didn't get all, everything done? I think that's a yes. No. All right, so pull I'll up, be honest. Pull up a pillow. Pull up a pillow. You know me. I, I'm a generally optimistic person. Yes. I uh, sat down with my husband yesterday, and I said, I just wish I could skip these days, because I love the holiday season. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But holidays themselves, Cells, um, you know, you just have a lot of people to worry about sure. and a lot of things to do, and mm -hmm. so um, I get really stressed. You get, stre you get yeah. stressed out. And, and I do this. This is actually the first year I have to work on the Wednesday before Thanksgiving, right? And I have some items that I have to cook that take a very long time, mm -hmm. and now I don't have that Wednesday to cook. So I am crunch time. Really, really stressed about sure. the cooking, and my family's now trying to see me, and they're thinking about coming to see me at different hours, so it's a lot of juggling. And, and trying to fit everybody in. Yeah, I'm yeah. kind of becoming a Scrooge, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know having that time crunch is a lot for a lot of people to handle. Not only that, but now you're battling with space in your kitchen. Mm -hmm. Move, I need to move this part of the counter, and I need to work over here. I'm cutting up apples for the pie, and I can't bake anything because the turkey's in there, but then the brownies need to be made, and so on and so forth. So I, it, there's a lot of stress just in that kitchen, I think, the day of, and the, you know maybe the night before, everyone just kind of moving everybody around yes. and, and, and kind of fight their way through. Plus, if you have a family that one person wants to have it at their house, but then you're going to go to someone else's house, now you're dealing with the trap. Right. Of, of, you know, okay, come here and we'll just eat turkey there and then we'll have desserts at, you sure. know, your in law's house or so. Cause oh, I know. I want, I like on Thanksgiving to just be in one place for the day. Yeah. Because then you don't have to. That's why deal I can't wait for this baby. <laughs> I wish it was here now so I could say, all of you, just come to me. Right. You, know, yeah. because you can use do, that as an excuse. I mean, my parents are divorced, so you do have to, you know, figure out that they're going to have different things, and then right. my brother's somewhere else, and then we have my in laws. So there's a lot of traveling going on, and, and it can be quite stressful just even the driving. Right. For a lot of people, having your family around is always good, but family is, as everyone knows, stressful for everybody. <laughs> yep. We go from Connecticut on Thursday for a little while, we'll eat there, and then we'll head to Pawtucket. Wow. To some, you know, to another house yep. there for, for the rest of the night. We're not. It's not too bad. It's only about maybe two is doable. Two is fine. Yes. Any more than two, and you're it's out of control. And you want to make you. everybody happy. You want to see. You want to see everybody. But there are times we just got to go. Yeah, I, we just we just can't do well, it. Well, that, that's when sometimes you got to split too. All right, one side of the family Thanksgiving, one side Christmas, Christmas. or maybe just different days. Sure. Okay, yes. on actual Thanksgiving, right? We will be here. Yeah. But you know, maybe on Black Friday, not a lot of people. Not a lot of people do. The shopping yeah. on Black Friday, because as stressful as that is, they want to avoid it. So maybe they have just second Thanksgiving. This is why there's wine. Um, you yes. Know, this is this why, is why I, wine was served. I think at the original Thanksgiving. Wine I, was I served. believe that there was. You know, some corn wine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fine brew. But so many people get stressed out because of the families. They don't want to make anybody mad at them. A lot of people will have Thanksgiving with one family on Thursday, Thanksgiving Day. Yeah. Some others will make Thanksgiving meal. You know, maybe on the weekend, mm -hmm. this coming mm -hmm. weekend, so they can spend the rest of the weekend with the rest of the family, just For to make. Sure. I just like the celebration happy. with the leftovers because yeah. the Thanksgiving sandwiches you oh, get to make man. afterwards, that's the best. And, and then you get to look like a slob. You could be eating in your PJs. Right. Mm -hmm. No one's judging. So I'm looking forward to Friday. The, the, worst is, the worst is driving home after you've had that big meal and you're just like, oh. Mm -hmm. oh. 
Uh, I don't know. In the tab button. Yeah, a food <laughs> coma. And I don't know how a lot of these people will go out at midnight to go shopping after having something to eat like that. I just want to curl up with a blanket yes. and just sound, you know, go to sleep for a little while. And watch while. Home Alone. Right, yeah, and watch you Home Alone. wear your stretchy pants that day. <laughs> stretchy pants. <laughs> wear your stretchy pants. Or wear pants that are a little big, pull them with a belt, and they just start loosen as you go, right? Okay, that's what pajama jeans are for. That's what I was that telling you about. That is what they're for. So just try, try to make the best of it. Traveling is, is yeah. tough enough for anybody, and, and even more stress, anybody who has to fly. Oh, Anybody yes. has to fly or head to the airport. It's supposed to be a nice time. Yes. Enjoy it. Know that it's going to be stressful, so that way, you know, when some little thing goes wrong, you can just deal with yes. it. Yes. And there's mashed potatoes, so there we can is. all hold on to right. that. Well, we asked our Facebook friends if they're stressed about the holidays, and Mary Cote Buteau, she says she loves it all and doesn't stress about anything. She shops, cooks, and does her best to make others happy. Look at that, She's Mary. She's enjoying it. I know. Bethany Hashaway says that the stressful part for her is actually getting the house prepared. Oh, yeah. you got to have everything spick and span. That's right. Victoria Martins, she doesn't stress at all. She says there's nothing to stress about. She doesn't cook for Thanksgiving. Thanks to her mama. Her mom's probably stressed. <laughs> yeah, her mom probably needs to write in. <laughs> and Donna Mitchell gets stressed because she finds that common sense and patience goes out the window with people. It so. does. It can happen. People Gotta get crazy. be careful. <laughs>